Hi, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is uh, part five and uh, of the WordPress, and we're going talking about the dashboard, and we're going to enter some content. So let's take a look and see how you do that, and well, let's see what we've got. What we have right now, by the way, so that we can kind of recap, is we have a WordPress site that we've created. It's got this theme, and it's only got one piece, one piece of content in it. Now, this theme uh, that we just looked at, um, looks pretty ugly. So we want to come in to do one thing before we get started. We'll come into appearance and go into themes. And you find themes by clicking the install themes tab here. And then you type in, and I, I typed in magazine, because there's some stuff, a magazine themes that I like. And it came back and it suggested certain items here that we might want to use as a theme for a website. And so, you know, look at this. This is pretty, this is part of another lesson, but let's just take a look. So I picked, here's one that uh, we can take, Mega Theme. So let's install Mega Theme. That'll be, and you click here, click install, click install now. And what it does is it takes the theme and adds it to your internal theme library. So here is a theme library. So this is the one that we've got showing right now. And here are some potential added uh, themes that we can use for our um, website. Let's activate this one. So you click activate. Now this theme is the one that's going to be seen uh, when we go to our WordPress blog. That ugly blue one is gone and this is what it looks like here. So you know you can decide and you can play around with it. Uh, if we don't like that one we can come back here magazine basic activate that one. Take a look at that one. And you know there there. So we'll go with this one for now just uh, to get going. So we've, we've replaced the blue, ugly blue theme that started with, with this particular theme here. We're going to come to our posts. And if you can see here under post, you can add a new post. So let's add a new post. And this is where it brings you to the content area to add content. So I've already pre uh, written and formatted a piece here. And I'm going to pick this, add it to my title, article marketing, and let's call it how to build links. So that's, you know, that's what my title wanted, I want it to be. Then I can come down here and copy this, make a copy. Now, there's one thing I want to show you. When you come into your original post that's raw, it shows you one item here, one menu bar with certain functions. The last one here, uh, is called the kitchen sink. Just click on it and it adds a very important array of functionality here. And this is important because when you import into your post section from another uh, piece of content, you're going to want to maybe use this and then insert. So now I've inserted through the, I had a, a, a text, plain text file that I had and it maintained a, a reasonable amount of formatting. And what this allows me to do here now is come in and, and do a little more formatting. This paragraph header gives me the ability to use heading tags, which is what I'm going to do now for my paragraph headings. I'm going to head, use a heading three here, use a heading three there. Uh, and there we go. So what I did was I pre-wrote some content. I've got an article, uh, a title rich title. I've, I've re, re, uh, repeated the title again as a header two so that the search engines will notice it. And then I've got regular content explaining anything, everything you want to know about article marketing. I haven't, uh, I've got that keyword that repeating enough throughout the, the content so that there is keyword density. And that's my content. Now I'm going to come over here to the right side and save the draft so that I don't lose it. Remember, this is not published yet. I came down here a little earlier and I clicked Add Category and I created a new category called Article Marketing. I'm going to select, and I saved it, so it created it right here. I'm going to select and save this new post under Article Marketing. And then I'm going to come down here and create, put some tags in, Article Marketing. How about Article Writing? and so on. I'm going to add the tags. 
You always want to add tags to your content. These are keywords that people uh, would be using writing, content, etc. Do your homework and see what people are using to type in uh, uh, to find this kind of information about article marketing and then use it in your tags. Once you've created your tags and you've got a category and you've built your, your, your content here. Now you can notice up here I could add uh, an image, I could add a video, I could add some music. What I would do is come in here to HTML and add a banner for a product I'm representing. But we won't do that right now. We'll do that uh, in a later lesson. I can preview the post. There it is. Ready to go. So I can always come back here, click Publish. Come up here to, to my main blog link. Look, put it up, and here it is. Article Marketing, How to Build Links. And in this particular theme, it gives you the a summary first. And then if you want to read the whole article, Read, read, uh, click read more and down it comes and there it is. So there's a different philosophy about this. Some people believe it's better to have a summary and then uh, you go into a deeper link. Other people prefer to see the whole article. It really is up to you what you think is most effective. Uh, there's another th bit of housekeeping we can do and that is we can come into our posts, take a look at hello world, click it and send it to the trash. We don't need it anymore. We have a, a piece of content now that's in here and that's uh, got a lot more value. So that's how you put content into a post. And I hope this has been helpful and useful. This is Claude Pilon at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay well, stay with it, and we'll talk to you soon.